Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Uh, I was reminded uh, after the close today that today's only Monday. Just amazing how much mental equity okay, gets burnt uh, on a day to day basis. Uh, some days feel like they're like months long, and the, the action has been so good. And today, uh, again, a lot of good stuff today. We'll talk about that in a second. But it, it really does come down to kind of your sanity, okay, and your your ability to uh, really take care of yourself. The mental health aspect of this business is so important because I don't care what kind of a run you are uh, on, and because of the market, it's been you know it's put marginal traders to better traders, better traders to good traders, and so so far and so on. But we, we burn so many brain cells that it's so unnecessary to kind of decompress and relax. And um, it's just, <laughs> you got to be a better friend to yourself. And I, I've seen so many traders uh, do very, very well, but they burn themselves out uh, so quickly. So got to pace yourself, um, have to pace yourself, have to put yourself in a situation that you are uh, a better friend to yourself and uh, that you can do this for a very, very long time. Because again, even when you're on a good run, and I know a lot of you guys uh, on this, this really big magic carpet ride, and again, a lot of these names are making you uh, are making you right. I mean, really, really right. But again, it's time. Sometimes you've got to take a step back, relax, and kind of restart uh, all over again. So uh, again, you know, we, we talked about this in the video on uh, yesterday, right? For all you guys uh, who watched the video last night uh, on the weekend update, again, it's just the market's doing uh, exactly the same thing that the market does right now. It's it's just insane. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Um, Tesla, you know, we talked about again. We talked about these numbers yesterday on the video. Uh, eighty nine, you know, four eighty nine, uh, four eighty nine and a quarter. Got their pre market just just exploded from there. I mean, well, everything we talked about last night on the video played out incredibly well today. But again, I, I think the most important part of the day and where we're talking about uh, or continue to talk about is value, right? We had a lot of good pivots today, a lot of good balance plays today. The option flow has been amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I, I can't imagine, uh, I, I can't imagine for going forward for the rest of whether I go brain dead in a year from now, a week from now, 25 years from now. I know I'll be a vegetable one day, but until until that happens, I, I can't imagine me trading without option flow. Um, and we've discussed, we, we talked about this so many times on videos, but you kind of see this every day. That the the more crazy, right? The more out crazy and outlandish bet that's put on the market with any type of meaningful money that's a short term expiration. Just just it's like a fuel to the fire. They spark it up, and you, you could see, you know, just weird names I have never traded before, like a stock, like like you know, a stock, like for example, um, what was that? What was that name today? There was there was so many names today. It was just so weird, like crazy action on so many different charts. But we, I kept on. If you go through my Twitter feed, you'll see like chart after chart after chart after chart. Like for example, like like a CRC, right? Like out of nowhere, you know, CRC was like at 790, and you just started seeing this massive, massive option flow coming in. They, they were buying 500,000 lots, like every, like it felt like every second. And, and I mean, look at the candle it put up. I mean, like crazy names, weird candles, but deep out of the money puts, short-term expiration. And I know so many people have been trading off this flow, but it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, rest of the market is just bananas. Again, where's the value? Right, I, and I just tweeted this out a little while ago, and I said, "Man, there's no more value left in Tesla. You know, it's it's up another five after the close. Uh, beyond going completely, you know, just ape uh, Apple. You know, I, I think it's time. I look, it, it, these things probably go higher. I, I think tomorrow, from uh, tomorrow, my attention, I I can't look at these things anymore. There's just no point. Like I, I can't buy, uh, I can't buy Tesla to strength anymore. There's just there's no point to it. It's just this is such a big linear move that." You have to be an adult about it and say, "Look, I'm getting off. You know, I'm getting off this 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 crazy merry-go-round. I got to be off before you know before I don't have a chair to sit in." And, and right now, when you look at an Apple and you look at a Tesla and you look at BYND, just just some of the names has been going just 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 nuts. At this point, it's getting to the point of such insanity that people are beyond 
comprehension of what, what normal is, right? And eventually, the, you know, the musical chair is going to stop. Again, can these things keep on going? Of course they can, right? In this market, it's bananas, whatever adjective you want to use. For myself, okay, I'm getting off. Okay, I'm just making this decision. There's an old adage in, in, in trading that says, you sell when you want to sell, not when you have to sell. Okay, and I started looking at these stocks uh, right at the close, and I go, I mean, how much more do you want? I mean, how much more do you possibly want out of these things? If you've been riding Tesla, been riding Beyond, if you've been riding Apple, how much more? Right? You just had a six-course meal. You lick the plate dry. There's like a, a there's like a crumb hanging from the edge of the plate. And you're ready to fight with the waiter. You're ready to go tooth and nail with the waiter because he's taking away your plate. You're fed. You're fat. It's over. Move on, right? Move on. Again, this is orbit. This is not even, this is not even these stocks are exploding anymore. You know, these are they're ready to touch the sun. Okay. After the sun, they're ready to touch God. Okay. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Uh, I'm getting off. Um, I'm looking for better value. I went through a bunch of charts tonight uh, at the close. Um, you have weed stocks. Uh, caught a really good trade today on, on CGC. You had weed stocks waking up. Um, you have beta names that have been kind of going sideways, starting to wake up. Again, I'd rather focus on my, con you know, I'd rather focus my attention on names that are coming off the bottom, coming off the, the middle of the range that have meat on their bone. And if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? They're generally, they're generally names that I still trade. I look from time to time, but I would rather be wrong, for example, on a Roku, okay? Or better be wrong, for example, on an Amazon or a Netflix or a Square, okay? And again, not, not that they mean they're gonna go tomorrow. I'm still watching for some confirmation of different levels, but I would rather be wrong on a confirmation, for example, on a Square, then be wrong chasing, again, that's the word right now. I don't care how good of a process you have. When Amazon, when, when Tesla goes up 150 points in three and a half, with three weeks, you're chasing. I don't care where you are, you're chasing. Um, today was kind of like the death blow to the shorts. Um, there was a very, very aggressive pivot today. We talked about this uh, last night in the video, that uh, 489.25 area, right? We talked about this. Again, the, the market is not trying to trick you. Technical levels are there for reasons. Once the technical trade out of the way, then you are facing pure momentum, um, pure euphoria, whatever words you want to use, but you're not, you know, you're not in control. You know, your, your eyes are you know, wide open. Your, your, your greed level is going up. Your emotional levels are riding. Again, all of a sudden, four or five point moves are just not good enough for you. You're looking for that 25, 30, 40, 46 point move on the day. At some point, you have to turn around and say, look. Am I putting my money the safest place possible? Again, remember, no matter where we are in the interval of the market, of aggression, of, 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 of being passive, whatever the case may be, we're always thinking safety first. Where is the safest place that we could store our money to get the highest bang for our buck, the biggest bang for our buck without giving ourselves the biggest exposure? Tesla is not that anymore. BYND, I mean, look at the move on BYND from 70, 74 to 115 bucks. I mean, it's just... That's it. I'm getting off. I'm getting off there. These things need a rest. Uh, they could go up another 200 points. God willing, God, you know, God bless. I don't want any part of them. I, I, I need to see these things relax for like a week, week and a half, two weeks, settle down, get a breather. And if I miss the next run up on these things, I'm okay with that. I'm at peace for that. I'm looking for better value. I'm looking for better safety. And the most important thing is I want to make sure I'm trading with conviction. The last thing you want to do is trade one of these things up a quarter, third size, chasing up 150 points where you can be doing full size with the teeth of the move potentially right in front of you and maximizing uh, your value trading days. But again, let's talk about today uh, just craziness, absolute craziness. Um, ironically, you know, ironically today, forget about the moves on top. We'll talk about all these things. There were some really big pivots. I thought this was a really good pivot today. I really did. Um, Roku, Roku was my first trade of the day today. And uh, if you talk, you know, if we watched last night's video, the weekend update, um, that was the biggest value, in my opinion. Um, so Roku gapped up today, right? Roku gapped up. It 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 touched 60 minutes supply, right? Touched 60 minutes supply, 
and it was about to go red. So the, th the thing that I wanted to make sure uh, I put in the Twitter feed, again, I, I, I always say this, green to red is not a pivot, okay? And people ask me all the time, well, what do you think about red to green, green to red? It's not a pivot. It's just the previous day's momentum is trying to confirm. Again, confirming without a technical price action. That's what red to green, green to red is. So I was watching Roku. Uh, I said, look, there's a puncher shot. This thing touched that 127 level we talked about uh, in last night's video. I think it could flush, right? I think it could flush. So it it went red. I shorted it, right? I shorted it red. Um, I shorted more through Friday's low of 128. It went down to like 2630s, right? Went this down to 2630s. Um, I covered, I think it was like three quarters of my position, um, three quarters of, or two thirds, whatever it was, whatever it was. It was a, it was a good trade. Um, I got stopped out on the previous candles, five minute high. I locked in like another 40 cents or so on the trade. So it was good. It was a really, really good trade. And then there was a pivot back to the upside. But I, I, again, I think that's what value is. Okay. I, you're looking for the highest probability move, not the sexiest, but the highest probability move. And the most ironic part with everything got it getting upgraded this morning. That was kind of one of the craziest things I've seen, like literally every tech stock got upgraded this morning. Everything got gapped up. And again, this is one thing that I say all the time, whatever doesn't go up, must go down. Uh, so Roku actually turned into a pretty good trade. And here was Tesla. I mean, here is Tesla. Uh, pre, here is my pre-market comments, 490 and a half, 491. Needs to build, could test 500. Maybe I should have said 600. Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I mean, it's just a monster move. Absolute monster move. Uh, and again, guys, this will be by far the last upside pivot I am going to uh, be sharing for at least a few days, okay? A few a few days, it just doesn't make sense. So here is here is the whole pivot right here. Here is the whole pivot right here at the top of this channel here. You can see this is 490, 490, 490 and a half, 491, and just, just went nuts, just absolutely went nuts. Nothing really to talk about, just, just crazy. Just took that out, uh, took out that 499, I even tweeted that out, 499, if you guys remember from last week, kept on getting rejected over and over again. So it broke the 499. It went literally from 499, 500 wasn't even, it, it, it's like it wasn't even there. It, it literally went from like 499, if you guys remember, to like 503, like in 45 seconds. So There's like nothing, there was nothing even remotely even holding it. That, that 500 level was just like meaningless. So huge move on uh, Tesla. Uh, ULTA was a monster move. Big, big move here, right at, you know, right at the open. Uh, 270 needs to build. Uh, again, we talked about this on the video on on over the weekend here's the whole 270 area right here's the two, whole 270 area that was the top of um that was the top of supply on the 12 6 day uh high here was 269.89 uh went to like 279 i mean just a huge move on ulta uh domo domo never triggered i still like this domo uh, i still do like this domo uh lulu lemon uh 42.75 43 needs to build you can see lulu Shorts got stretched. Yeah, I said it. Um, yeah, so here was that 4275, 43. You can see here it's approaching 46 pre, uh, after hours. Big move there. Uh, and again, my, my message was before everything even started, I go, look, it's Monday morning, sit back, relax. Again, again, a lot of new traders, they feel, and because of social media, they, 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 they hit it down their throat that if you don't put on five trades by 931, the day is over, which is insane. It's absolutely insane that they Guys, there's six and a half hours for a reason. There's value at every interval. You don't need to put on 12 trades at 931. So I said, sit back, relax, let the noise kind of die down. Most stocks are in orbit, so chasing these things up are not the easiest thing to do. Again, it's not a race, patience. And again, things just started escalating very, very aggressively. Uh, Tesla, and just 500 in seconds, ULTA exploded. And here is some, and here is a really good pivot to the upside. I was at lunch. I missed this Roku pivot. So we had a downside pivot that I caught in the morning. And then Roku reclaimed. The reason why I covered my shares, they reclaimed the 50-day moving average. And I said, 130, 80, 131, if it builds, can wake up. And I, I would say Roku woke, woke up. Okay. It was just a damn shame. Um, I wasn't here for this. I was at lunch. But here is the 130, 80 right here. 130, 80, 131. And Roku just went on to 35. I mean, huge, huge move on Roku. If you caught that pivot, Fantastic job. Uh, TCOM, I still like for tomorrow. Okay, TCOM, I still like for tomorrow. Um, oh, I caught this. I, I didn't put this on the Twitter feed. Okay, I didn't put this on the Twitter feed um, because it wasn't a pivot. Okay, it wasn't a pivot. Um, we caught the CGC really nice. Somebody, I think it was Vic. Uh, I think it was Vic in the live webinar that said, hey, 
Um, you know, what do you think about the CGCs exploding? And it, it started breaking out. CGC started breaking out um, at 22 and a quarter. And I missed that move. Again, I'm not going to chase a stock like C, uh, CGC into, uh, into strength. So I, I talked about it. We started seeing some call buying coming in, right? We started seeing call buying 24 calls, 22 and a halves. Uh, so we started seeing call buys coming in. And um, so I, I, you know, we got long. We got long here on this, on this, on this, uh, uh, on this first retest uh, to rising 60 minute support. Uh, I got long literally at the bottom of this channel here. And the damn thing exploded. I mean, really, really exploded. Uh, closed over $23. Uh, my highest sale was, was 2280s. I still like it tomorrow. I think if this thing washes out tomorrow uh, in the morning, I think that 60 minute support buy uh, will be really good. So for all you guys who are still holding some CGC, uh, good job. Uh, but again, beautiful trade. And nothing wrong with the trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. So uh, let's talk about some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's talk about the pot stocks. Um, I like the CGC again. Uh, I'm going to wait for any any dip into rise in support. Um, I, I'd rather buy it into weakness than buy it into strength. TLRY, I like the same thing. You know, these pot stocks are waking up. You know, they're coming off a bottom again. I would rather again, I would rather lose money on a CGC or a TLRY than chase Tesla up 150 points. It just it's just it's not happening. So I, I want to watch watch this channel on TLRY. If it could start building above. You know, 17, 80, 18. I think there's a shot against the 19 bucks. I kind of like that as well. Um, I like this Domo as well, right? I like this Domo as well. You can see it stopped right at 25. If it could reclaim 25, I think there's a shot it goes to like 20, 26 tomorrow. And I kind of like this TCOM. I kind of like this TCOM as well. Uh, we saw, I think we saw, I think it was September 50 calls, right? September 50 is it's $38 stock. If it starts reclaiming 38, I think this is, you know, there's a shot this thing really gets uh, aggressive. Uh, for all you guys who are joining us tomorrow, uh, please be at Morning Strategy at 9 o'clock Eastern time. We'll go over all the, beta, all the beta pivots. There are some value plays there, and tomorrow we will share it uh, right, at, uh, right at 9 o'clock. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay safe. And God help, we'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.